So as long as I'm at it, I'm going to uh, show you guys basically how to uh, replace rear brakes. Very similar process with front brakes on a, this is a Kawasaki Ninja, it's a 95, but the process is very similar for most bikes. Now there may be a uh, few different things, but even, even on cars, the process is very, very similar. I'm not going to show you how to bleed them or anything, because that's a, a separate video. But here we go. Also, uh, one quick side note. If you're watching this video, learning how to change brakes, you're probably a beginner at this, and I'm going to explain everything as if I'm teaching somebody who's very new to this. So if I'm going a little too in-depth for you, feel free to skip forward. And uh, here we go. So basically, you'll notice that there's like nothing left for pads anymore on these. Somebody completely ne neglected it and hadn't changed anything in the entire time that they uh, really should have. So basically the pads are completely worn down. The rotor is, it's got, I don't know how, if you're going to be able to see it, but it's got huge divots in it. So the pads have to go. The rotor has to go. Um, I don't have new pads and rotor sitting here, so for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to put the old pads back on and show you like that. Um, but anyways, uh, what we are going to start off with is, whenever possible, give yourself uh, the room to work. And on this particular bike, the exhaust slips over like that. And as you can see, it kind of blocks the whole work area. Now, this exhaust came off with a bolt here and loosening up that bolt down there. And uh, then it just slides off. So, remove that. Some of them have uh, bolts farther down. Some of them are uh, straight pretty much all the way out. And you have to remove it at the head up there. But along the line somewhere, you'll find out where to remove it. So, just do that if you need the, the space to work. And... Uh, I'm going to, uh, hold on, there we go, I'll remove this for you guys too, just to get it out of the way, so it's not blocking any angles or anything. But anyways, um, on this one, there happens to be two Allen headed bolts there, and these get very hot and go through a lot of weather, so they tend to get stuck and seized, and if you break them, it's not a very good thing at all. Sometimes you might have to end up getting a new caliper for it. So, it's a good idea to let these soak in some sort of penetrating oil for a few minutes before you start working. And uh, on these particular ones, they were so seized, I ended up having to use a, a uh, breaker bar of sorts to get them off. Now, I'm not going to go into exactly what size these are because it really doesn't matter. Yours are probably different. So, what I ended up doing was I ended up putting an Allen wrench in there. And I'll put you on the tripod up here. Right. And here's just a piece of uh, steel tubing. I cut off a section of it. So that way I could put it over the Allen wrench and have a lot of leverage to bust it free. Because otherwise these uh, bolts were not really going anywhere. So for the sake of this video, I've already loosened them up. And also, it's a good idea, magnetic dish. Put your parts in there. As you can see, I've already loosened these up, so we don't have to deal with them. I've already taken these pads all the way off and inspected everything, but... So that goes in there. Then uh, your caliper should basically slide off like that, and on the back of here, this uh, whole piece on this particular caliper is, is a slide. See if I push it down, it kind of comes down. If it doesn't come down far enough, uh, what you'll have to do is crack the bleeder. And since these pads are, are so worn down already, they're uh, coming off very easily. You can see there's like no pad left to them, so they just fall out. But if you have to, crack the bleeder and push the piston in by hand. You can do that. Make sure to use a line wrench or something that goes all the way around it. Just crack it a little bit, push the, the piston in, and give yourself a little more room. 
With these ones, you got the two slides, and how you get these out is you actually push the slide down, and then one side at a time, just kind of flip it out, and it comes right off like that. This pad on the inside here, you can see it's it's kind of got some some teeth and some edges on it, and just like a puzzle, it slides right into there like a puzzle piece would. I don't know how well you guys can, can see that. Obviously at this point you'd want to clean everything up and make sure your piston wasn't leaking. Yeah, I just pushed it in my hand all the way. Now I'm going to close the, uh, the bleeder again. So now that the uh, piston's actually compressed all the way, I can throw this pad in there. Uh, just like a puzzle and you can see it sits right in there and uh, you may want to use some uh, your brake pads will come with a little packet of grease uh, normally and that can be applied between the piston and the uh, back of the brake pad there to prevent any squealing or rust corrosion or things like that so now that that pad is in there and the pistons all the way down we can go ahead and install this other pad. I just imagine this is new. By pushing this slide all the way down and slipping it on around and then slipping it on the other end. Just like that. Now reassembly is basically the same thing. Just to slip it over just like it came off. Gotta make sure that, uh, especially on these, this inner pad here likes to uh, dance around as you're trying to put it back on. So if it doesn't want to go back on, chances are it's that inner pad that's dancing around. So as soon as everything's in place, you can slip it over, put your bolts in. one at a time. I like to throw a little thread lock on these uh, just because but for the uh, purposes of making a short video uh, I'm gonna do that later as soon as I actually get uh, new pads and rotors and there you go after you after you actually uh, bleed the thing Then you got brakes again. So it's really not that difficult to uh, replace brake pads, and it's really not that difficult to replace the rotor itself, actually. But there is a, a very, very quick kind of a, a process on it. Hopefully that helps and gives you an idea of what to do. So there you go.